Hi, I'm Jonathan Edwards and this is Be Still and Know, a moment to stop in our busy lives and listen to God. Luke chapter 16, verses 10 to 12. If you are faithful in little things, you will be faithful in large ones. But if you are dishonest in little things, you won't be honest with greater responsibilities. And if you are untrustworthy about worldly wealth, who will trust you with the true riches of heaven? And if you are not faithful with other people's things, why should you be trusted with things of your own? We all tend to be impressed by competent people, people who get things done. But competence isn't everything. A person's character is of far greater significance than their competence. Indeed, a person who has enormous competence but who has a bad character is very dangerous. Their activity is likely to lead to disaster sooner or later. Jesus' words are wise ones, and we need to listen to them very carefully. Faithfulness is a key quality, and if someone has proved unable to be faithful in one area of life, it wouldn't be surprising if they were unfaithful in other areas as well. And if someone shows dishonesty in a trivial matter, it should come as no surprise if they are dishonest on a bigger scale as well. The point is clear. Our core character will determine the way in which we live our lives, whether the issue is large or small, or involves our family, business or church. This all emphasises the importance of continually growing our Christian character. As we allow the Holy Spirit to direct our lives, our character will gradually change so that his fruit becomes increasingly evident in our lives. Love, joy, peace, patience kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness and self-control. This fruit is amazing because it will last. It isn't like normal fruit, which has a very short shelf life. Impressed as we may be by competent people, we all need to long for this amazing fruit which God loves to grow in our lives. Let me pray with you. Loving God, help us to grow closer to you every day and to welcome the changes that you are bringing about in our lives by your Holy Spirit. Amen. Thanks for listening. I hope you have a great day and that you'll join me every weekday for Be Still and Know here on Premiere.